Brick Universe happening today and all weekend at the Raleigh Convention Center. Listen, this is a great family-friendly event, and we're so happy to have this great work of art right here in the WRL studios and the artist behind this great work of art, Jonathan Lopes. His works will be featured at the Brick Universe Convention this weekend. Great to have you on the program this morning. Before we start talking about this beautiful piece of art, what got you into becoming a Lego artist? Um, I've always been an artist, and out of necessity, Nostalgia and curiosity, when I was 28 years old, I bought a Lego kit, um, and I really enjoyed building it. And over the course of a few years, I bought more and more Lego, and then started creating my own things out of Lego, posting photos online. And then over a number of years of doing that, people started asking me to build things for them. And that's when I decided to turn it into a profession. Yeah, doing something you love and getting paid for it. So what inspires you when you think of creating a new piece of art? Um, inspiration really comes from everywhere. I have a whole series of um, New York City structures and buildings because I'm originally from New York. Um, I'll be displaying some of them this weekend at Brick Universe. Um, and then this piece was actually inspired after going to the theater with my wife in San Diego and on the walk home, this piece just came into my mind um, based on a word in um, a song, one of the musical really? numbers. Really? So yeah. Just a word? So walk us through how you decided to come up with this as you were thinking about that word in that song. Yeah, it was actually a phrase. Um, the phrase was within reach. And I just um, envisioned that phrase as two hands reaching for love and reaching for a heart. <laughs> of course. And on our walk home from the theater, I developed this piece in my head and then immediately sketched it on paper um, and then created it out of Lego. Oh my gosh. So when you're sitting down to do a piece of, of art, how long does it take usually? Um, it really depends on the complexity and the size. This one, for example, took me about 24 to 30 hours. Yep, not all in <laughs> yeah. that succession, yeah. Now, do you work in different pieces uh, at different times or at the same time, or are you constantly? It's a great question, mm -hmm. yes. I work on four or five pieces at once. If I get tired or hit a, hit a wall on one piece, I can move on to the next. If I run out of Lego bricks on one piece, um, I can move on to another while I await the um, order of Lego bricks to arrive. So yeah. yeah. My, my niece, Victoria, is a huge Lego fan. Oh, she good. created this amazing um, uh, Lego piece uh, over the holidays, and I thought, how long did it take you to do that? For someone who might be sitting there thinking, boy, I've always been meaning to do that, what's your advice to them? Um, you know, it, Keep creating. Yeah. For me, it's about creativity. Um, it's not necessarily about Lego, um, but just keep creating, yeah. and you never know where it might lead. Um, I created this piece, and it's part of a series, but the um, work that I did prior to this all led to yeah. this piece. So you never know where what you're working on now is going to lead you a year from now. And you never know what's going to inspire you. Absolutely. Jonathan Lopes, we're so happy to have you here. His work Thank you. will be uh, featured this weekend at Brick Universe, happening today all throughout the weekend at the Raleigh Convention Center. You can find tickets and information at that website right there on your screen. Jonathan, all the best. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, Michelle, you're from New York, so you can appreciate this as well. Oh, 100%. And Ken, the amount of detail. Oh, it's incredible. unbelievable. I love it. Thank you, Ken.